This part of the castle was once where a claimed scientist, Friedrich von Frankenstein, conducted his experiments into artificial life. He was quite mad, and often would conduct horrific and depraved acts, trying to discover the secrets of life itself. His own demise was equally gruesome. The vampire queen took him, but kept him alive thus over many centuries. She fed on him daily, keeping him at the brink of death, yet living and aware. Why she did this is only known to a few. She once loved life and loved living things, and before she became a Lord of Shadow, she vowed she would punish Frankenstein for his vile acts. As a Dark Lord, she was able to keep her word. Alright. Now, my first playthrough, I thought this was probably one of the most frustrating levels in the game. But, it's all good, because I know exactly how to get through it now. But, we're, yeah, we don't even want to talk about how long I stood here and went, Duh. Yeah, that's the puzzle solution. To hell with that. First, we'll punch the switch, if I can get it correctly. Punching the switches will move the current. Yes, we know. Takes three moves to get through this room. It's not that bad. Yeah, you just follow it pretty much. I guess I feel like breaking stuff. Okay, the next room isn't that bad. Takes a few more moves, but and compared to the first room, still not bad. And it looks like a lot, but it really isn't much. First, we're gonna hit this. So we can come over here and move this tower, or whatever the hell it is. And I'm coming back here for some reason, I don't know why. There's a gem here, so we want that. probably thought it was in the other Oh, never mind. Now that we got that across the current, we'll hit this one again. And we can move this again. And that's what we wanted that doing. Okay, good. I'm gonna go over here and break this table just because I felt like it. It just, it looked at me funny. Then we want to come back here and punch this one on the wall. That'll do is let us through to that, to almost to the door. And this one again. And there's a bag of daggers here. Yes, you need at least two to get to, through this room. I have full daggers, as always, so that's not a problem. I guess I just feel like breaking everything for some reason. Maybe I was angry about something. I don't know. Just fill our magic up real quick. Some probably already know what I'm going to do here. We're going to exploding dagger that switch, obviously. moves us a little bit, then we'll do it again, and we're through. Just don't stand in the current, you'll take damage and it sucks. I'm still half health from that last one, yeah, that sucks. Oh well. Now this room is holy shit. 
Yeah. My first time in this room, I was scratching my head for an hour and a half, going, what? Yeah. That's okay, though. It's actually not that bad. First, we're going to take this wall out. And hit this switch. And then hit this switch. Which will enable us to pick up that object over there. Red lens. This guy, he's fun. It's not terribly difficult as he only has two, two attacks. Well, he's got three. He's got a lunge, he's got a charging lunge, and then he's got another shot where he drives to the floor with electricity. All pretty easily avoidable. Now the fight becomes interesting. He's going to use this thing to try and recharge. But look at that. There's a coil right there that we can punch. Interesting. When he goes to recharge, you can punch that and it'll stop him. Something else I should note. The trial for this level is to kill it by only punching the coil when it's over the middle. Because if it goes over the middle of the circle and you punch the coil, you'll damage it. And, and let me put, say this, it is by far the most infuriating trial in the game. I mean, I don't think they'll ask you to do anything more ridiculous than that. You only have to do it three times. But getting it over the center of the circle and having it stay there while you punch, punch the coil is, like, ridiculous. That's what happens when you punch it. It just really screws it up badly. As for as how to do the trial, well, I can't even tell you because it took me, like, 40-some attempts to get it done right. And, yeah, it was one of the ones that I was yelling at the TV. And a few things are infuriating in video gaming. That was one of them along with the Spike Room and God of War, and having to pull a Platinum on both verses of the Missile Stage and Bayonetta. Oh, and the Grab and the grab Kill Trial in God of War 3. Those were all infuriating, and this ranks up there with it. No. Getting this one, you get this one done, you're looking good. how I actually did it. I think I would run to the back corner and jump over him or something. But overall, it's not a difficult boss. If you're not going for the trial and just trying to beat him, then you should have no problems with him. How about that? Thanks to the stupid rat, we can get out. Now, back to the puzzle. Yes, it looks like it's crazy, and it is, but it can be solved in four moves. Yes, only four moves. First, we're going to punch this one. This is the first move. down here and punch this other one. Oh yeah, don't even bother looking at the puzzle solution for this either, because it doesn't tell you anything. It's like, it misleads you. So if you're confused, just watch this. 
Then we'll go back and punch this first one again. I actually tried to follow the puzzle solution. Or I unlocked it, and I still sat there thinking, what the hell? I just gave up all my XP for this BS? Yeah, that wasn't worth it. Now we can head this direction. I'm waiting for a platform, which we will see pretty soon here. Now, this guy over here has a gem, so we want to get that. Thank you. Shit. That would be trying to jump with an awkward canyon. Yeah, yeah, we've all played God of War, we know. <laughs> Alright, come over here and punch this one. Puzzle solved. I guess we haven't seen the last of that guy. 